Good day, my name is Giamo Makatu from CPI and I will be presenting your CPI training module today. When you log in, you will go to www.cpiworld.co.za. That CPI world is one word. When you reach our website, there is a link here at the top left corner that says payroll login. You will type in your VUT designated email address where you have already received your system access manual with your temporary password. Because this is your first time logging in, the system will ask you for your password. You will type in your temporary password. And as soon as you press login, it will ask you to reset. We request that you reset the password to something that you will remember. Should you ever find yourself inactive on the system, you can just contact support and I will deal with it with chapter one. This is what we call our landing page. So after you log in, the first screen you see is the landing page. And on this landing page, we have three tabs, home, sitemap, and documents. The home is usually where you will see, if you were an employee for a certain company, that's where you will see all your employee details. The sitemap is a shortcut to the entire system. So if you need anything employee-based, you will come here. Anything company-related, you will come over here. And um, you will see uh, also uh, until the security and the financials. We use this one for documents. So should there be any special documents that an HR administrator wants on board for the whole company to see, this is where they would come to attach it and it will be accessible to all of management. For the sake of this course, we will not be using this section of the system. Now we're just gonna go to searching for employees. So you go employee, basic information, basic profile, you click there and then you're on the training company, you will see that our search criteria, we have a few criteria that are available for you to search for an employee, being employee last name, employee first name, email address, ID number, maiden name, preferred name, cost center, an employee number or job number. So for the sake of this, I'm just gonna go and search under employee last name. This is what we call the wild card. This percentage sign is called a wild card. So when you type in and you search for somebody's surname, you can just use the first three letters or the first letter and then put in a search the wild card and it will search for everybody whose surname starts with M. That's how you use the wild card character. So if you're ever looking for a surname, let's say all you know is that in the middle of somebody's surname, there's a KA. You will put a wild card at the beginning, KA in the middle, and another wild card character at the end, search. If you know an employee by their email address, then you can just go to employee email. And if you know it's a Gmail address, you will just say Gmail search. And the system will search for everybody that has a Gmail address. So that's how the wildcard character works when searching for an employee. The system also has an active tab so if you just want employees that are still active in the system, all these ones with the red button next to them, it means they were terminated in the system. They, were either, they either resigned or they were dismissed. So if you just want active employees, you will click here, search again, you will see all the red 
employees are gone now. The system also has a special feature that we call the audit trail. This is to keep track of who made what changes on the system. So here we have this employee right here at the top right corner. We have click here where the system says click here to view audit trail. It will show who added this employee and when. So this is to help with audits and to make sure that your payroll is always secure. We have this on every page of the system. So as to never to have somebody say, but I don't know who did that on my part. I am not the one who did that. We can always go back to the audit trail and see who made the changes and when. So you'll see now on this pay slip, when I go in it, there is no audit trail because nobody made a change. But should I come and edit and make a change of my own, immediately the audit trail feature comes on and you can click there and you will see it's me who made the change when and at what hour. At the end of your chapter, chapter one, there is a navigation access uh, exercise that will require you to log into the CPI training company using the credentials that we sent you that will ask you to change an employee payslip. All of you will have the same employee to change. So you can, when you arrive there, just change the basic uh, pay to whatever you want or add an allowance. This is how you would add an allowance. Under allowances, you just say add new. And you can pick any one of these allowances, add something. This is primarily so that you can see that your name will be automatically added to the audit trail the minute you make a change to the system. Using the vertical drop down menu, this, these are what we call the, vertic the vertical drop down menus. Here, employee, company, and then the other navigation is here at the home side where I showed you the site map. So what you can achieve through the vertical, you can also achieve here. So should you want to go search for an employee from the sitemap, you will just go employee, and then here at basic profile, we end up in the same place. So there are many ways to navigate in the system, but I will show you the one that is least troublesome. What is not in your navigation manual right now is the I want to box. This is your magic box when you're dealing with employees. It shortens everything in the system that you don't need to always go back to the vertical navigation pane. You just come here under the I want to box and it will say I want to add a new employee, view a pay slip, and all these options are available to you under the I want to box. So this is your shortcut when coming to employees. And that is the end of chapter one.